So the Basel Leckerli, do you know them? Well, they're super famous for Basel, of course, and I'm here at the Leckerli Hoes, and joining me now is the CEO and owner of the Leckerli Hoes, Miriam Baumann-Blocher. How did you make it to the top? How did I make it? Working hard is actually the main, <laughs> the main key um, to get to the top and then maybe also to get the chances one, once they're there. So maybe not making the plans how one step after the step, but just uh, taking the chance once it's offering. So go with the flow somehow as well? Yeah, and, and, and just um, maybe also have the courage take it then when it comes. Sometimes it doesn't suit you then, but then when, when it's there, you need to take it and, and get ahead, go ahead. How was that with uh, the Leckerli Hoos? Because you, you own it uh, since 2007. Uh, was it something that you knew instantly then? Well, I'm a food engineer, so of course I knew the business more or less before. I worked in that business. I also knew the former owner, and I thought he's in an age that he should maybe think about what's happening next. So I was just asking him because I'm a, a lover of the Basel Leckerli. And first he didn't want to sell it, but then um, I, he agreed that it's the best for the company. Okay, great. You could persuade him, <laughs> huh? <laughs> exactly. How did <laughs> you do that? While. Took a while. Took a year. Uh, many, many discussions, but um, yeah, then of course because he was a family-owned business and he didn't really think of, of selling it, but he wanted the CEO, and I said, well, I do the CEO, but I want to own it as well, so then we discussed and discussed, and after a year we agreed, so it's probably the best he gets out, I get in, and we did that. So persistence is also yeah, one of the worst, huh? Yeah, right, definitely, definitely. definitely. Okay, well, um, Miriam Baumann, thank you so much. That is very interesting, and I hope you all uh, learned something to be persistent, but sometimes also go with the flow.